morning. It is Wednesday, March 24th. I'm Danielle Wiggins with your 3 News Now morning update. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me on the WKYC Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram pages. Because this is all online, remember to share your thoughts on the stories covered in this edition of 3 News Now. And you can also let me know your name and where you're watching from. If you watch over the past few days, all of you who comment, of course, I go back in and say hello to you. I always love hearing from you. OK, so let's take a look outside because oh, we're looking from Cleveland State University at the Cleveland skyline and you see the sun is out in downtown Cleveland this morning. But our three news meteorologist Matt Standridge, he is tracking rain. How long will the rain last and we will need our umbrellas? Well, Matt has the answer. Hey, good morning, Danielle. We have some shower chances out there today, but mainly this morning. And then I think by the afternoon, we're a lot drier. Overall, I think today's going to be a nice day. Highs getting towards that 70 degree mark with just a stray sprinkle out there. Maybe a couple hundredths of an inch would be the best that we can get. Well, a little bit of rain this morning, but then you can see the shower chances really go down for the second half of the day, clearing out tonight before a heavier batch of rain comes in for your Thursday evening. Here's your national design, our hour, hour forecast. Just a couple showers out there today. It's not going to rain all day. Most of the day will be dry and we'll have some pockets of sun. Just got to watch out for a stray shower. That's pretty much about it. Overnight tonight will settle down into the 50s. Still some southerly winds out there before clouds and eventually heavier rain comes in for your Thursday. Thursday night we have the potential for some thunderstorms rolling on through. Some of them may even try to turn severe. We actually have a level one severe risk in effect for tomorrow night, mainly from Cleveland southbound. But the severe chances really start to balloon towards the south and west. Right over Mississippi, Alabama and southern Tennessee, we have a high risk for some severe thunderstorms. Now these storms will form and then march their way towards northeast Ohio, weakening over time. But that comes in tomorrow night. It's going to be windy tomorrow night, high wind watching effect for tomorrow night with some of those thunderstorms. And then Danielle, we get much cooler going into Friday and the weekend back to where we probably should be in the 50s this time of year. Thank you so much, Matt. OK, everyone watching, I have a question for you. Do you believe in ghosts? Well, it's a question that many Lake County residents have found themselves asking for the past few weeks. And many of you are talking about this on social media as well. Our social media accounts are blowing up with this. So here's why there have been several supernatural sightings caught on video. Take a look at this video here. So we spoke with officials from the Minor Police Department. They're telling us that police officers were dispatched on March 10th around 1040 PM to the area of Bellflower Elementary for what they called a suspicious incident. Apparently a caller reportedly saw a seven year old girl running in the area. So that's the image you see on your screen. When officers arrived, they say that they were able to spot a child fitting the description from the caller. But when the officer got out of the vehicle to try and catch the child, nobody was in the area. The officer continued along the building expecting to see a child crying or scared but still no signs of anyone. They even employed a canine and a drone to help search for uh, search the area, but no success. OK, so let us know what you think. Was that a ghost or not a ghost? We want you to join the conversation in the comment section because this has been a hot topic on our social media accounts. And switching gears now to the fight against coronavirus. The state is reporting 2.8 million Ohioans have received at least their first COVID vaccine. Today, we're expected to get over 25% that threshold there, meaning one in four Ohioans will have received a COVID vaccination. This is as COVID-19 cases jump ahead of the 14 day average. And now here are three things to know this morning. New details have been released from the mass shooting in Boulder, Colorado. Police have charged a 21 year old man identified as Ahmad Alisa. He is facing 10 counts of first degree murder, one for each of the people killed in Monday's shooting, including a police officer. Investigators continue to look for a motive. And here in Northeast Ohio, we are mourning the loss of Lynn Murray who is a native of Minner. She was among the 10 killed during the shooting. Murray was 62 years old and retired. She worked as a photo editor whose resume included publications like Glamour, Marie Claire, and Cosmopolitan. 
In an interview with The Post, her daughter called her the biggest light in everybody's life. And in other news, senators, including Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown, hope to prevent hazing on college campuses. The lawmakers reintroduced the report and educate about campus hazing, or the REACH Act. It would help establish a clearer definition of hazing at the federal level and require that colleges report all hazing incidents. Okay, if you are looking for a job, listen up. A Northeast Ohio company is looking to fill more than 100 positions, so positions over the next few days. Union Home Mortgage is hosting a virtual career expo starting today. They have positions open in several fields. The event is today from 10 to 2 and tomorrow from 4 to 7 p.m. You can register online. The information is also on WKYC.com. And this morning, we continue our 21 Strong series with the story of 27-year-old Amanda Tepes. When the pandemic hit, many parents were trying to figure out how to juggle virtual learning, stay-at-home orders, and work, of course. But Amanda, who is a mother of four, had to deal with all of that while also guiding her family through the unthinkable. In March of 2020, as the country prepared to shut down due to COVID, the Akron native received word that her seven-year-old son, Xavier, had a rare cancerous tumor growing in his abdomen. COVID safety restrictions kept her family of six physically isolated from their support system while Xavier went through treatment. We had to be cooped up and we weren't allowed to experience life. And that's when we want, like, that's the biggest time that you want to experience life when it's being taken from you. Amanda relied on her smile and the strength she says her kids gave her to persevere. She documented the family's journey on a Facebook page called Xavier's Journey. And just three days before Christmas came the post everyone was waiting for. Xavier completing his last radiation. And as of today, Amanda says Xavier is in remission with no cancer to be found. And currently, Xavier is finishing up treatments to boost his immune system to fight off any cancer cells that may develop in the future. And Amanda says, well, Xavier continues to keep a smile on his face and that he's currently the role model for their family. We have Amanda's full story on WKYC.com. Now to an update on our Keep the Lights On CLE campaign. So you have been stepping up big time to help our neighbors struggling during the pandemic. Tonight, we're holding a Keep the Lights On Digithon from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. on WKYC.com. A Digithon, you're like, what is that? Well, it's like a telethon. So with the money you've already donated, our partners at CHN Housing have started paying off utility bills for those in need. And we are proud to say that as of right now, we have raised $55,000 and you can still donate. Just go to www.keepthelightsoncle.org. Well, thank you for taking the time to join me for this 3 News Now morning update. Our digital team will continue to bring you the stories making headlines around Northeast Ohio and beyond. Make sure you continue to check our social media pages and WKYC.com throughout the day. I'm Danielle Wiggins, and I'll see you tomorrow morning on Go, starting at 4.30 a.m. If you're up, tune in to us. Have a great Wednesday, everybody.